Let's place some text in the non-destructive overlay. We'll begin by opening up the Vision and Motion palette, look for Vision Utilities, and then look for Overlay. You have quite a variety of options for text and graphics. I'll pick out iMac Overlay Text. I'll begin by connecting the VI into the Air Cluster. Then we have two principal inputs here. One is the image buffer reference, and the second is the location of the text itself. I'll create a constant for the purpose of locating the text at X and Y coordinates. Take a minute to expand the cluster view so we can see the two values here. Make the label visible for each one of these numerical values. We have the X and the Y coordinates. X is the horizontal, Y is the vertical, and the origin is in the upper left corner. For example, we might place the text at X is 20 and Y is 10 pixels. You have a number of different ways of arranging the controls within the cluster. At the moment, I'm using auto sizing. Here we have the text that you would like to display. And I'll just create a constant for the purpose of this demonstration. And finally, we need to connect this into the specific image buffer reference. I have two of these available on the data highway. Here we have the webcam original source image, and that means the text will be placed into the buffer for that particular image. Finally, you can control the text color and its background color. The text color defaults to black, and the background defaults to transparent, but of course you can set these to any values that you like.